Okay. Hey guys. If you're wondering what I'm drinking, <laughs> that is my pre-workout. Because I like pre-workout when I work out. And I thought it would be fun just to kind of add it in. If I start sweating like a whore in church, I'm real sorry about that. Um, today I want to talk about, this is BCAAs, by the way. That's about it. Wine. <laughs> Who doesn't love wine? <laughs> well, um, I do because I'm out. I'm using it for a roller today because how many more of us are out of this little product and we throw it away, but guess what? It could be a useful tool. Let me show you how to use it. Just like we did yesterday with the roller, you're gonna use your bottle of empty wine and we're gonna roll out our calves. <laughs> Who knew? So just roll back and forth. So basically, this is SMR, and what SMR is, self-myofascial release. Um, normally, what I would do with my clients is I would stop on each spot that is a little tough, and typically it's on the outside of that calf, if your feet turn out, which most of us do. And once you get to that spot, just move your foot up and down, back and forth. Now you can use your can of vegetables that you brought as your weight, um, I also brought a can of pasta sauce because <laughs> it's got a square edge on it. Now, why would I bring a square edge? This one has ripples. This can imitate that. Now, same thing. Roll on those spots. Find the most sensitive spot. Flex your foot back and forth. That's gonna help loosen up those joints, okay? Also, what we did yesterday, pull your foot back and forth. Mild facial relief it, or release is important because you really wanna get those nodules that might be causing you some tightness out. So when you're working out, everything's nice and loose and you don't just pick up a weight and pull your back, right? All right, so let's go ahead and go to the other side. I liked my bottle of wine <laughs> a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to roll. So I'm gonna roll this leg after all this working out. So just get it, go back and forth. If you find any sensitive spots, like I said, stop and flex back and forth. If anybody knows where to get this line, the, what is it called? Los Pinos Ranch. Let me know, because the sweet table wine, red, the sweet table red wine. Oh my God, it's so good. Roll back and forth. Okay, if y'all are wondering why I was blowing up my Facebook last night, well, wine had a little bit to do with it. Remember, after days of your drinking, please don't make it every day. Treat yourself to a relaxed day and just make sure you're rehydrating. I have a nodule down here by my ankle, so I'm just going to move back and forth, flexing this foot, holding for 30 seconds. Now, if you're hurting your wrist doing this, make sure, like we talked about yesterday, keep your fingers spread apart, disperse that weight throughout the entire wrist, or throughout the entire hand. Try not to keep it in the back pad. Make sure the entire, every little bit, including these little pads, are touching the floor. All right, now your foot. Roll back and forth. Hopefully you guys can hear me. This is a fluid learning process for me. And if you have feedback, please, I would love to hear it. All right, we're gonna roll out that front. Like I showed you yesterday, I noticed that you couldn't really tell what I was doing. So I'm going to do it here where you can see a little bit better. Take your empty bottle of wine and you're going to roll back and forth on this chest muscle right here, guys. That's the one that gets tied up on us a lot. I have my thumb down. Now once you find some sensitive areas, you're going to roll your arm in that shoulder joint back and forth. Back and forth. Please make 
sure that you have your towel, your water. Go get a can. Go get a ball. If you don't have something, you have something. I promise. All right, let's go ahead and do the other side. Remember, put it right here. And you're gonna roll back and forth. Oh, and start your watches. I wanna know how many calories you're burning. Um, I'm gonna put it on cardio. You can put it on whatever you want. Okay. And now let's start it. All right, roll back and forth. Once you find any sensitive areas in that chest area, you're just gonna roll this arm back and forth. You wanna do it for about 30 seconds. We hold these nodules anywhere from 30 seconds to three minutes, depending on how bad they are. Back and forth. I've got a good cardio for y'all today. You're gonna to love it. I got lots of feedback from yesterday and I appreciate those who did. All right, let's put your bottle of wine. Let's put it back. All right, now we're going to do some joint rolls. So go ahead and get on your knees or stand up, whichever one you like. I'm doing this because you guys can see me better. But go ahead and roll your head. I wish y'all could hear the music that is in my ear right now. It is so good. Roll it around that joint, feel each vertebrae. Remember, try not to overextend your back and don't have poor posture. Bring your posture up, bring your shoulders back. Now we're going to bring your ear to your shoulder, not your shoulder to your ear. Feel the stretch on this side of the neck. Opposite side, ear to shoulder. Feel the stretch on the opposite side. Now speed it up, back and forth, back and forth. Now anytime I talk about a chin tuck, here's your chin, bring it back. Don't bring it to your chest, you're just gonna bring it back. And forward, chin tuck. Bring it out as far as you can, chin tuck. Forward as far as you can, chin tuck. All right, now you're just gonna look side to side, side to side. The head, the neck is so important to stretch out, guys, because we're constantly doing this, which makes it really heavy for our spine. So we wanna bring our head back, get these joints nice and oiled. Let's go ahead and do your shoulders, roll them back, we're gonna do about 10 of those. Breathe and exhale. Roll those shoulders. Breathe in. Exhale. Now go the other way. Separate the scapula. Roll those shoulders. Now bring those wrists. Bring them out. Get them right here. Bring them all the way up. Roll that wrist around. Mine are snapping, cracking, and popping. Now bring it down. Bring it out. Away from the body. Get it stretched. Turn it over. The palm that is up. Reach for the wall. Now bring it here. Turn your palm up, this one down. Reach for the wall on the other side. Again, reach. Other side, reach. Breathe, if you're holding your breath, please don't do that. Your body needs oxygen in order to work properly. Inhale. Exhale, other side, reach for that wall without moving too much. You want to feel the stretch all in here. Time, last time, other side. Okay, 
Now, bring these arms. Turn those wrists. I want you to bring them up. Stop turning your wrists. Bring your hands up here. Open up that chest. Again, open up the chest with your hands back here. Get them as far back as you can. You can't reach up as high as I can. Don't worry about it. It's a process. Stretch. Open up the chest. Head back. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Close. Bring that rib cage down. Now open it up. And back. All right, now we're gonna stretch out this part. Go ahead, bring your foot forward. Remember what we talked about, tucking that hip, right? Now bring it forward, stretch here, bring it up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, reach up as high as you can. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right, go ahead and get that hamstring. We're going to push it down and point your ankle. Stretch it. Open up your chest. Ready? Now, other side. Here we go, guys. This one, remember, bring it forward, tuck that hip, bring it up. I didn't tuck it enough, here we go. Tuck it, then bring it, there we go. All right, there, you should feel the stretch. If not, reset. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. What do you do with the other hand? You can put it on your leg, you can put it here on your hip, or you can just drop it. Inhale, exhale, one more time, open up that diaphragm, guys, put your hand on your belly, feel it fill up, now squeeze it all out, all right, go ahead and come to the hamstring, press it down, point your toe, don't let your hip twist into it. You want to keep that hip square. Feel that stretch. Ignore my whiny dogs. <laughs> They're a little upset with me because I'm taking over the room. All right, Cats and Camel. If you've been watching my videos, you know how to do this. Spread your fingers under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Now push through the floor and head up. Let your back drop. And up, round the back. And head up. And I'll do it from this angle so you guys can see. And up, push you through the floor. And out. And in one more time. Push through the floor and out. Head up and back. Feel the stretch in the neck. Let that back just drop. All right. We're going to go ahead and stand up. Now I want you guys to do your ankles. We're going to write our names with your foot. Do it twice. Ready? M. <laughs> write my name. A. N. D. I, other side, this ankle, ready? M, however your name is spelled, just spell it. N, D, I, M, A, N, D, I. Okay, now we're gonna do our hips. What we were doing the other day, how you guys, um, we did the hip drop yesterday. Let's see, how did we do? Did the hip drop? Okay, today we're gonna do hip circles. 
So that move that I taught you guys, in and out, remember? And the hip drop, so the side that the knee is bent on is the side that the hip is dropped back and forth. Okay, now let's combine all those moves that we've been learning, ready? Roll it around, roll around. Kind of like when you're dancing, right? So you want to know what these hips are. Ready? Other side and back. The backwards is always confusing to me. So go the other direction. Head up, shoulders back. Ready? Other way, one more time. Back and forth. Thank you guys for joining in. I appreciate this. It gives me a purpose. It makes me feel like I'm doing something to help, even though I can't leave my four walls. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, the first workout that we're going to do, hopefully you're nice and warm now and ready to go. There's three ways to do this one. You can step back, step forward, step back, step forward. We're gonna do 15 each side. Now, the more advanced move, step back, kick forward. Step back, kick forward. The step from that one, um, the, I guess the regression would just be step back, step forward, step back, step forward, okay? I guess it's just adding dramatics, basically is what it is. I'm gonna do the medium one. You can do either one of those, okay? We're gonna ready and go, 15 each side and start. So, step back. One, two, three, four. I always put my hands here just to keep my stuff square. Seven, eight, nine. I suggest you count your own because I 10, 11 talk too much. <laughs> 12, 13, 14, and 15. Other side, ready? Now step back. Oh, wait. Step back, kick forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, breathe, eleven, square, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, this one is going to be a little complicated. It's Superman to Cobra, okay? Watch the move, then we'll count. We're going to do 20 of these. So we're gonna get just like this. You're gonna engage your glutes, heels together. Uh, let me see where you can see the best. Okay, heels together, glutes engaged, upper body into extension. Okay, now you're going to come up, bring your arms back, and up, squeeze, back down to start. Got it? All right, here we go. So, 20 of these, Superman, bring your arms back, everything is engaged, abs, glutes, hands up. Back and down. One, two, three, four, five. If you need to just do Superman, just do Superman. If you want to just do Cobra, do Cobra. Six, seven. When you get here, make sure your chest is open. Eight, squeeze the inner scapula. Reach out as far as you can right here. Nine, we're almost there. Keeping your glutes engaged. Ten, we're almost there. I'm gonna count backwards. Ten. Nine, keep your head in line with your spine. Breathe. Twelve. Thirteen. 
working. If your low back is starting to hurt, good. That's what we're working. But if it's too much, don't get in so full ex extension. Sorry. Six. Five. Four. Squeeze your glutes if that's how far. We're almost there. Three. Two. And one. All right, bring it up. Here we go. We're going to kick, guys. And ready. And we'll start this side. Go. Back. One. Two. Three. Four. Keep it strong. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. We're off your chest. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, other side. All right, here we go. And back and up. One, two, three, keep it strong. Four, five, breathe. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Oh, back to everybody's favorite. Come on, Susan, you got this. Just do your Superman if you can't do much more. You can't bring those arms back. All right, here we go. Remember, engage your glutes. Bring your arms forward. Head in line with the spine. Here we go, 20 of these. And up, and around, and back, and down. One, two, Four. It's supposed to be challenging, guys, and not tearing up your body. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Open up that chest. Nine. Ten. I'm going to count backwards now. 10, 9, feet together, glutes engaged, keep them tight, sorry, 8, 7, 6, 4, I'm sorry, 5, I told you, count on your own, 4, Three, we're almost there. Two, and last one, keep it strong. One, oh, you, I'm gonna feel that in my back later, that's for sure. Remember, this is a great one for that. Just stretch it, if it gets too much, stretch out that low back, right here. But get back up and join us. Here we go, this side, ready? Cardio. And up, one, two, keep it strong, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, square off that chest, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one, fifteen, other side. Remember, we're only doing four of these. This is round three. Come on, you got this. You can do it. Ready? And step back and kick. One, two, three, four. If you guys have feedback, I'd love to hear it. Five, six. Any workouts you want to know how to do? Seven, eight. I'm here all day. Let me know. Nine, <laughs> ten, 
11, 12, 13, keep it strong, 14, we're almost there, and 15. Number three for Superman. Bring it down, guys, you can make this one easy. I know that part is a little complicated to bring your arms back and to remember what to do, but remember, it's opening up that chest. You guys have been bent over in a chair for so long. This is gonna be so good for you, especially if you have back problems. It's probably coming from your chest. All right, ready? Engage your glutes. Feet are together, knees together, best as possible. Don't bend your knees. Keep them straight. You can point your toes, it's fine. All right, ready? 20 of these. And up, around. Open the chest and down, one. You can do these fast, we're just doing cardio. Three, not trying to build muscle. Four, we just wanna maintain it. Five, blow out. Six, inhale on the way up. Seven, eight, keep those abs and those glutes strong. Nine, Squeeze your scapula right here. 10, and backwards, and 10, and nine. Come on guys. Eight, seven, almost there. Six, and five. Squeeze those scapula. Four, come on, three more. Three, we're almost there. And two, and one. Woo! Stretch up that low back before we go into the kicks. Stretch it, side. Here we go, side. Stretch one more time, side. Woo! And side. I'm getting a sweat already. This is amazing. Put up those toxins. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Good side. And get it strong. Square off your chest. Get your abs involved. Here we go. And one. Two. Come on, you got this. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Come on, we're almost there. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. I think we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next workout after this because it's running a little long. That one took longer than I thought. All right, ready? So step back and kick. One, two, just goes like that sometimes. Three, four, as my son hates to hear me say, it beats like that sometimes. <laughs> Eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Anybody else finding the little pranksters inside your children? Because uh, my kid is loving picking on me. I don't know, watch out, he's driving me nuts. All right, so for the next one, we're gonna do a shuffle, shuffle, touchdown. Okay, we're only gonna do 30 of those, so it'll be 15 each side. You're gonna touch down, shuffle, shuffle, touch with the other arm. Shuffle, shuffle, touch. Shuffle, shuffle, touch. Okay, here we go. And, so touching the ground, bring it up. Shuffle, shuffle, two, three, I know. Four, I don't want to hear it. Five, six, come on faster, seven, eight. If you can't go faster, that's, that's fine. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Come on, you got this. 16, 17, keep it strong. 18, 19, if you can't bend over, that's fine. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, we're almost there, four more. 27, keep your feet apart. 28, 29, and 30. Woo, okay. So grab your can of vegetables or nothing at all, but I am going to use 
my body and break down my immune system. All right, so this one, we're gonna start up at the top. So bring your arms up. Hopefully you guys can see me. If you can't, let me know. So just like this, okay? Grab your weights, grab your cans. Remember, use your whole arm and keep your wrists straight. Don't let them bend on you, okay? We're going to do a reverse snow angel. If you need to drag your arms along the floor, that is fine. Turn your arms to neutral, which is like this, not up, not down, side. Now you're going to hammer curl, press up, down, back to start. Remember, keep everything nice and strong and controlled. Feet flat on the floor. If you want to improve this workout, bring your bottom up. Don't overextend it. Tuck it under, like I showed you. That, that hip tuck. All right, if you need to downgrade this workout, get rid of the weights. All right, here we go. Bring it down. Turn it to neutral. Get right here. Chest press. And back. That's two. And turn. And up. We're only doing 20 of these three. Back. Around. And up. And press. I'm bringing my hip up. Tuck it under. If you want to even add more, pick your toes off the floor. Around. Neutral. Um, hammer curl. Press. Back. That's four. And five. Remember, a little faster. Six. And inhale. And blow out. Seven. And around. And back. Eight. Around. Hammer curl press. Nine. Keep those abs. That bottom engage. That was ten. Ten more, guys. Ten. A little faster. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Think of a snow angel, but in reverse. Four. Come on, guys, we're almost there. Three. Around. Hammer curl. Press and back. Two. Around. Hammer curl. Press. Back. And one. Here we go. All right. Back to shuffle, shuffle. Touch down. Ready? Hopefully you're still with me. Here we go. Touch and one, two, three. Try not to let your feet tap. Four, five, six. If anybody's ever done jujitsu, you know why. Seven, eight. If you haven't, I'll explain later. Nine. 10. Come on, guys, we're almost there. Hopefully, you're still with me. Here we go. 11, 12, 13. Come on. 14. You got this. 15, 16. If you can't tap, that's fine. 17. Do what you can do. 18, 19, 20, 21. Come on, you got it. 22, 23, 24. 25, five more, five, four, breathe in, breathe out, two, and one. All right, back to hammer curl, our snow angel hammer curl is what I'm calling this. Yes, I made it up, I really don't care. It's a pretty good one actually, I may keep it in my repertoire. All right. Remember, no hip if you can't do the hip. No weight if you can't do the weight. Make it just a workout, guys. Hammer curl, press. Whoa. Get your heart rate up. Get oxygen. Slow down the breath. Two. Back. Snow angel around. Keep those elbows straight. Hammer curl up. Press. Three. Now go back. And around. That was four. I'm bringing my hip up for that medium. Five. Bringing my 
toes off the floor for that harder. Get that abs nice and or that ass <laughs> nice and strong. Ten. Count on your own because I lose it when I'm talking. Eleven. Twelve. If you feel like your shoulders are popping and cracking, get rid of the weight. Thirteen. 14, around, hammer curl, 15, squeeze those glutes, tuck your hip under, 16, 17, around, back, 18, inhale, hammer curl, press, 2, around, hammer curl, press, 1, all right, last one for your shuffle, shuffle, touch down. Here we go. And shuffle, shuffle, touch. We're only going to do 15. Two, three, four, five. Come on, guys. Six. We're almost there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 14, and 15. All right, last time with your snow angel, angel. And then we're gonna make the last one really quick, okay? So reach out your arms, try not to bend. If you want to, back flat. Here we go, round, hammer curl up. We're only gonna do 12 of these, that's one. Two, bring that hip up, around. Three, back, around, four, around, hammer curl, five, come on guys, you got this, we're almost there, six, five, come on, four, and three, two, and one, back and around. All right, so the next one is reach, reach, side, side. All right, so we're gonna go back, one, two, side, side, that's four. One, two, side, side, that's eight. We're gonna go to 30. That's uh, 12. Back, back, side, side. That's 16. Back, back, side, side. That's 20. Back, back, side, side. Yes, I can do math. <laughs> That's 24. Back, back, side, side. That's 28. Back, back, side, side. 32, sorry. You've got two more to grow up. All right. We're going to do balance. Touchdown. You can use your curl or your um, weight. You can use your bottle of wine. You can use a can. But what you're gonna do is balance on one leg. With this, I want you to make sure you've got your knees bent. You're gonna bring this leg back, okay? Now, if you've done this with me before, you know you can add a balance pad. You can add a pillow. If you need a regression, grab onto something. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep our Hip, nice and tight, abs engaged, okay? Leg back, you're gonna keep this back, not closed. Get your back straight without arching it. Keep it back. Here we go, we're gonna reach down for our toe. If you don't wanna wait, that's fine. But when you get here, leg is parallel and press. Meredith, you know how to do this one, ready? We're gonna do 10 each side. So remember keeping that back, the shoulder open, head in line with spine, and two. I'm trying not to talk so much this time, guys, but I'm just making sure you've got enough time to do it. Three, keep it tight. Four, balance is everything. Five, especially right now since we're stuck in our houses. Six, when's the last time you took time to create your proprioception? Seven, if you don't know what that is, look it up. Eight. Nine, Friday, and curl, press 10. Those overhead muscles, so important, okay? I 
same on. We're gonna get this straight. Abs engaged, glutes are tight. Hold on to something if you need to. Take away the curl to press if you need to. One, two. Come on guys, you got this. Three, we're only doing 10 on each side. Four, remember I told you about working out barefooted? Grabbing the floor. Five, this is when it comes in handy. Six, walking up and down stairs, you'll notice the difference, I promise. Seven, get that leg parallel. We'll leave it back. Eight, come on guys, you got this. Almost there. Nine, last one, and 10. All right, here we go. Ready? Back, back, side, side, that's four. Back, back, side, side, that's eight. Back, back, side, side, that's 12. Back, back, side, side, that's 16. Back, back, side, side, <laughs> that's 20. Back, back, side, side, that's 24. Back, back, open up that chest, side, side, that's 28. Back, back, side, side, that's 30. Back to balance. Guys, this is our last workout. You got this. We're almost there. I'm at 41 minutes this time. Ha! All right, ready? This side first, opposite arm from the leg that you're balancing on. It's a counterbalance situation. We'll do one side eventually. All right, knees are soft, gripping with your feet on the floor, shoulders back and open. Your chest is open, your abs are engaged. Sorry about the sweating. And down, and curl. One, we're only doing 10. And curl, two, we're almost there. Three, and down, four. If you like this workout, please let me know. Five, I can't hear you or see you, so I need some encouragement. Six. Yes, I'm that girl, I don't care. Seven. Eight, positivity breeds positivity. Nine, and 10. One of my favorite quotes. Positive people are positive because they choose to be, not because they have to be or not because they wish they were, but because it's a choice. Make positivity a choice for you. Find what's positive. This for me is positive. I love to sweat at least once a day. One, two, and I love people. That's probably why I'm a trainer. <laughs> four, five, my clients are my life. Six, well, my family is my life, but seven, my clients have become my family to me, and I love that. Eight, nine, and 10. Okay, good job, you made it to the Woo! Thanks for tuning in. If you wanna stick with me, let's do a stretch out, because I know that first one was gonna be a challenge on your back later. So go ahead and reach those arms out. Drag the floor with your arms straight, bringing that bottom to your heels the best that you can. If you can't see me, I'll do it here for you. Now we've been coming across. Right now what I want you to do is go under. Reach, keep your arm straight instead of up. Feel the stretch on that shoulder that we worked so hard today. And breathe. Empty out all that negativity. Breathe in positive and blow out. Negative. And back to middle. Drag the floor. Stretch out that serratus anterior and posterior. Again, same thing we did on the other side. I want you to reach under, keeping this arm straight. Try to reach out as far as you can with that opposite arm. Bring that bottom to the heels. Inhale, exhale. And remember, sharing is caring. So if you can share this video to someone that may help them, 
get them through a crazy day, please do. I want this to be shared with whoever I can help. Inhale. And exhale. If you are so inclined to donate, I will add my Venmo. If you want to, it'll be attached to this video. If not, I know we are all going to be broke folk for a minute, and I am perfectly fine with that. Inhale. Exhale. My husband is a fireman, so at least I'm getting some job security there with him. Thank God. All right, go ahead and come up to a tall plank, and I want you to push those heels into the floor. Inhale. On the exhale, bring it back, sink it down. Feet flat, the top of the feet, open up that chest. And exhale, pull those shoulder, shoulders away from your ears. Bring your head back, guys. If it's too much for your wrists, come down to your elbows. Try to plant that hip into the floor. One more time, and up. Push those heels into the floor. Try to plant that bottom on the wall behind you. Inhale. Feel those shoulders stretch. Feel those calves. Open up the chest. Ready? Come forward. Go to the top of your feet. Press through the floor, guys. Open up your chest. Bring them away from your ears. And... All right, that's gonna conclude today's workout. I'll do these as long as I have participation. Thanks for joining in. I'm real sweaty, bye-bye. Uh,